Thanks for stopping by and checking out the channel. I wanted to put this video together because about a year ago, my family and I moved from the United States to Portugal. And one of the major spots that Americans are considering when leaving and moving to Portugal is the area of Caldas Serena, which is on the, the Silver Coast. So after living here about a year, I wanted to put together a, just kind of, I guess like a highlight reel of what folks can see when you're downtown. So we hit up the major spots like the, the fruit market, the, the Don Carlos Park. We also show you some of our favorite restaurants. And there is a mall in Cala Serena. It's, it's not really a mall by American standards, but there is one and you can buy clothes there. There's a food court on the third floor and etc. So I do give a quick walkthrough of that as well. But anyway, I just wanted to put together this video so that folks can get an idea of what it's like living in Cala Serena. And, you know, you kind of hear the commentary from my wife and I while we're kind of touring through the city. If you guys have any questions or comments, just leave them down in the comment section below. All right, thank you. Hope you enjoy. It needs so much work. Just go check out the plaza up here and then we can turn around. Academy. Yeah. The option for older, older kids. What was the age for Brave Academy again? I think middle school. Or middle school? Maybe. Ah, okay. A good Michelin star restaurant over there. What was the name of it again? Um. Sabores d'Italia. Nah. It's a cute little plaza. Michelin Star Restaurant. Sabores di Italia. All the old painted towels. They're really pretty. Just cool. And the main squares. And this is isn't this isn't too far from the the Protus de Frutus. This is for sale. This is an approved project for renovation. Ah, uh, yes. So that's, that's been for sale quite so long. Like three years, something like that? It's a lot of work. Yeah, but the location is great. And yeah. Cool windows. We've got the one next to it that's been remodeled. Well. Yeah. So it looks really cool. Alright. Let's go eat. So many rundown buildings, so just a sad part about Cadiz Serena. Could be so pretty. Well, weather permitting. <laughs> you can kind of see that. Yeah. All the rundown buildings.
And now we're heading to our favorite restaurant, Nala Kaldish, Flavors of India. There's a going away party since we're moving to Lagos. over to the fruits of the Prakas. To the what? Prasad of Prakas? Yeah. But you have to take the walking street, the, that uh, uh, pedestrian street. I think it's over there, no? Yeah, I think so. All right, so we'll walk around this way. What, yeah. you want to walk the street since you're already filmed here? Uh, no, it's not. Check out this side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the pizzeria we went to. Oh, OK. It was good? It was OK. okay. Do you feel different saying goodbye now that you felt when we first moved here? Well, we didn't really move, we didn't even have a place to live, but when we <laughs> knew our kids were attending school that first day, so we technically we knew we were going to be around here <laughs> because they were already at school. Yeah. How, how do you feel differently from then when you thought your life was going to be here and now you know you would not be? Well, I always figured it would not be directly in college. No, but it would be in the civil coast, like but walk civil distance from school. For sure, yes. So. And the school has exceeded our expectations. So, it's true. on that side, I can't say anything. It was really great. Oh, yeah. I never realized this was his room. Like, his room, like, you know. Yeah, I think last time it had a, yeah, like like, a covering or something. I know. Wow. But okay. it is really cool. And it has a little courtyard, or maybe it's yeah. not supposed to be a courtyard. It's just this know. roof. Yeah. It's probably authentic Portugal. I think. No? Um, to a degree. I think the it architecture wasn't. here is just so... Newer, I guess, in a way. Newer, but also a bit mismatched. Yeah, but a lot of cities that were built fast are like that in Europe, like Brest. But I think the difference between Brest is that it was... Completely bombed. destroyed. Yeah. yeah. In World War II, so... Yeah, this was not destroyed. There was no earthquake or anything, so... But yeah. maybe there was an affluence of people at one time that had to... Because it, it looks like a place that was built fast. Very fast, yeah. But it just could be the architecture. It could yeah. be... It's eclectic, for sure. <laughs> I mean, who knows? Maybe it was... But I like eclectic. I like eclectic. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't mind it. Like, I like the style of every house being a different color, like we have in Florida. I do, but I also like I like it to be upkept. <laughs> oh, not like that? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so that's a bit of an issue. Especially right off of the main square. So I know. all this should be Oh, I, I know where we should go. I remember I told you, oh, the walking street is over there. Okay. So, oh, the film I got this cask is a really good oh, restaurant. Yeah. That's really awesome. It's a really good restaurant. Yeah. So that street is kind of cute too. Check it out. Yeah. So there is a street of that side, like near. Um, it's a walking this, street. Yeah, it's a walking street. It goes down, and it's been a lot of investment has gone into it, like new little coffee shops and stuff like that. And so I got um, some dessert from that street, like last week, I think. And they had amazing mango macaron, like with mango butter, like the one from Hawaii. Oh, okay. So I was like, oh, I got to take you back there so that you can try those macarons. They're so good. Because usually macarons, man fruit macarons, have a more of a fruity, sour, tangy taste, you know? Yeah. But those, no, they were mango butter. So it's just so different. Okay. Ah, so they're Frasado closing Fruta up. Closing shop. Yeah, closing up for the day. I didn't know they removed the tent thing during the... Oh, it's like every day, I think. I didn't know. I thought they leave the tent all the time and oh, then they no, just... No. It, it completely gets cleared out. Wow. 
Yeah. That's a lot of work to do every day. So that's one cute little street. But there's not, no yeah, there's shops really or anything there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Old shop. Yeah. Hardware store. It's good, you see the view of those buildings on this side, which are really pretty. Yeah. And it is impossible to park here during market hours or to drive here to be. That's yeah, true. But it's a cool market, good prices, good selection. Prices are decent? Yeah. No. No. All right. No. And northeast on Pocket Dollar. Ah, it's this one. Yeah. So we've been here to Citrus too. Yeah. It was okay. okay. So this street has a bunch of new places that were not there not that long ago. So this one is French, actually. It's every I have only had croissant here. But uh, I know plenty of people who've been there to actually have their cheese board, charcuterie board, wine. It's like a wine bar, but they also make a few pastries and everyone say it was amazing. So, so okay. we won't have time to try it. Oh, it's really, it's really cute too. This, the glass tiles. Yeah. So it's new. It opened like maybe two months ago. It's very new. Okay. And it's owned by French people. So it's butter for some. <laughs> And you actually tried it? Was it Yeah, good? no, no, it was good. I mean, it was... Legit? It was legit, except it was made in the morning and it was already the afternoon and it's Kaldash and it's very humid, so... Ah, okay. It was a little dead, but that's not their fault. There's nothing they can do about it other than put it back in the oven, I guess. But... Yeah. And so that's the place I told you about that we have to go and try the uh, macaron. So it's right here. Oh, okay. Bolos. You want to go get one now? Or? Yeah. Okay. I mean, unless you want to come back to the street. No, that's fine. That's fine. And all the beautiful towels. Beautiful buildings downtown. Have some charming places sprinkled in here and there, but you have a lot of spots that need a lot of work. I mean, you can kind of see some of this stuff here. Like, look at that building right in front of us. It's all kind of in shambles. Don Carlos, the building there. The final name of that building, I'll stick it in the comments. But and the building right in front of us just needs lots of work. So I'll go ahead and speak on some of the pros actually living here. We've been here almost a year in the Caldas Arena area. And for the most part, we had a pretty good experience. First and foremost, the Facebook groups. So there is uh, Silver Coast Facebook groups, Caldas Arena Facebook group, I believe. Uh, the Silver Coast Moms, Calvary Serenia Moms. Join those groups if you plan on moving to the area. Wealth of information, wealth of knowledge. We've been here for well over three years, four years. It's the place to be. But with that being said, you know, it's, you, know, you have to get contacts into the various schools, places to eat, restaurants, things to do in the areas, things like that are coming up going on. So join those groups. 
that is the second point of the many things to do in the area. And I would say the area. Emphasize the area. Because causes itself, man. But the things to do in the area, it's great. All right. She didn't have the mango anymore, so I got the pineapple one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah it was tasty. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the penises. It's a regional item. Huh? Yeah. They even very have famous the. Yeah, very Caldish. famous in the Caldas region. Look, there's a bunch of little ones you can buy here. Chocolate <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Yeah. That's cool. They even have that huge uh, pottery place with all the penises. <laughs> Why? God knows. Ah, uh, funny. It's cool. You gotta be known for something. Mm-hmm. this one. I don't know. I'm trying to this find street? local. I think it's the next street over, so maybe from this street. Yep, that's local right here. Okay. And it's a little walkable area with a good brunch place. Oh, this place looks cool. Yeah, like I mean, a brewery? Probably. Okay. Oh, yeah, look at this, some of these buildings. Yeah. Right off of the main square, which is a bit sad. Damn, does someone actually live in there? Mm, the I think open. they, I hear noise, so maybe they're remodeling it. Uh, see? Oh yeah, you can see right through the roof there. Yeah, <laughs> there's no roof. Oh, wow. Yeah, now you can see that. You can see it. So I had brunch here many times when it was sunny, and it was very nice. The building still needs some work. No, I mean, the restaurant, the food was good. It's a nice little spot to hang out yeah. when the weather's good. <laughs> I don't know, they still have some, but if they do, I will order this is one. local. So, the, do you want to go to the walkable street? I'm not to the other side of the rest of the fruit. Huh? All right, that's fine. Okay. That's pretty much it when it comes to showing Gelder. No, I mean, I guess uh, you could drive to the big... Expo Mall, you know, but that's it. Expo, what Expo Mall? Well, we, where they have all those uh, um, weekend activities, you know, where there was a big uh, old fair okay, and stuff okay. like that, but we aren't going to walk there, but... Yeah, I'm not walking. No, no, of course not. Yeah, that's a good brunch spot. Serious. Really tough. Yeah. But that's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the walkable street is cute. Yeah, yeah. Which is right in between those two, no? I think so. I think so. I guess they don't take down all of them then. We just some of them in a the crown. Well, I've been here a couple of times where all of this was cleared out, so... Oh, uh, okay. And the next market starts in, what, 18 hours? Feels like I could live it up. The longest standing market in Europe? Yeah. Daily market, okay. That's what they say. Yeah, that's where the shopping street starts. They often have different, uh, they switch them up the art on the top. Sometimes it's like pottery. Ice cream shop. Yeah, 
there's some cute buildings here. It's more upkept. I don't think there's too much, you know, yeah. in disarray here. It's all, I think people live there. It's newer windows. And Traverses, it's a little streets that goes in everywhere. Yes, chocolate there. Fancy furniture store. Tattoo parlor. Nice rugs. Mm -hmm. Down this way, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think Casa Pico de Octubre is not too far from here. Interesting building. <laughs> That's the uh, daughter of the Indian street having coffee. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> You know, it's a small city where you often see people that you know from shops and you're like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's Mr. Pizza, remember when uh, oh, MJ Rudy, and yeah, yeah. John fell asleep? <laughs> yeah. We've known There's a few restaurants open all day long. That's the end of the walking ball area. I mean, still walk a little bit. Yeah, but. This car's the pedestrian, yeah. the end of the pedestrian area. I yeah. don't know what this is. Uh, it's a, definitely an interesting building. Yeah. Circular. But like here, like you yeah, have this place here in disarray. But a cute, oh, this place is supposed to be yeah, really a good. Cute little place right next Geo. door. Geo, yeah, everyone says it's an amazing restaurant, but it's only open at dinner, and since we have kids. Yeah. So that's one of the restaurants we're supposed to do. Oh, they're like a church. Oh, yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, oh, that's cool. And there's also the events that happen here, I guess. The, they have their. Was the city all maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I can't remember what it was. But it has a sign out front. But like for Christmas, they had some decor, a lot of decor on this plaza too, so. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. 
Like, wasn't the angel here? Yes. That's what I thought. Oh, the Ricardo Storena sign. <laughs> oh, yeah. And that's the Munion Super Builder, yeah, the camera. Ah, okay. Which we didn't go to. Go ahead, man. Ah. Which we didn't go to because we didn't belong to the municipality of Kalt. We belong to Arcobas. On a vessel? Yeah, that's right. Some of those may be fountains, so careful. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get soaked. That's fine. Right. Right. Beautiful to be painted. Yeah. <laughs> Reminds me of the breast city or in the fountains in front of it, remember? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Similar kind of building too. Ah, you gotta get some shots with the Karl de Storin sign. Karl de Storin sign. Nice building here in the corner. Next to the oh church. yeah. Looks newer and cuter. This is upkept. Yeah. Even though it's a bunch of blocky buildings, from an architectural standpoint, it still looks not all more clean. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but for the most part. For the most part, yeah. But they're probably newer, so it's easier to have kept this. Construction, this is an old, old one. That's true. Oh, that's starting to get warm. I know. This one looked like there was a fire. Yeah. But then the bottom doesn't look that bad. Ah, it's a Lego store. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, there's Stitch. Stitch Lego. Oh, uh, yeah. Oof. Why is it 65? It's 65 euro. How much? 65 euro. It's not yeah, even a big how, box. That's how much it is. It's, it's for pieces. It's, like, it's not even a very big set. Look, the Harry Potter next to it is cheaper and it's just as big. It's based off the amount of pieces. 43,000 pieces? No, 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 no. That's the... Yeah. the balcony. And why the black? It's strange. It's an interesting architectural design. Yeah. The black shelves. Oh, there's a, a hole here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've actually driven through there before. Yeah, me too. Lots of one way here. Let me tell you. A lot of time you map something and it would take three minutes by walk, seven minutes by come. <laughs> oh, I've heard of this place too, but I haven't been. I can't say the Bing. Bing group. And what is it about? Uh, it's a restaurant, but yeah. Oh, look at that big building. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Yeah. They probably have a decent view from up there. You have to live somewhere. Yeah, you live from here. So it's the tallest building in the city. So uh, you can go back downtown that way. Yeah. If you're not uh, across from another big one, you probably can see pretty far. Like, if you're facing this way. 
it's a proper playground. There's not many in Portugal in general. Yeah. Again, not very caring, <laughs> but <laughs> natural <laughs> selection. <laughs> But the fact that there is one close to downtown. Yeah. Because these parks are very rare. Yeah. <laughs> Which is everywhere in Portugal is not that sad. Many yeah. Building, look at this. That would cost a fortune to reopen this. Probably doesn't have a roof. All the big stones, too, around the windows and yeah. kind of showcasing the columns. Could be cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's a parking option. We never parked here, but I've heard of it before. Oh, we did from the other side, no? Uh -huh. no, no. 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 Well, at least I have it. Cute buildings. Yeah. I actually like the tiles on the outside. Me too. Especially when it's different color next to each other. Yeah. It's probably better for the humid climate. <laughs> Are you sure you won't miss it? <laughs> I definitely won't miss it. Yes. Not at all. I mean, it's quite adequate size. I would say I'm not mad at the size of Caldas. True. But I'm mad at the fact that it's between two other cities of similar sizes that get all the good stores. It's kind of like, eh, just drop the tourist business, I could buy a area. No! And there's definitely a big enough population that could support those bigger yeah. stores. And I think that's the frustrating part. I don't want to drive 30 minutes to go to Decathlon, I want to just go to Decathlon. Or Sarah. So now we drive from the first IKEA. Yes. Luckily, you don't need to go to IKEA very often. I mean, I would go more often if it was closer. <laughs> Maybe it's a good thing that we're not. <laughs> I like IKEA.
probably the best place to park if you're going to Kaldash, but you're not going to the mall. Yeah. Pretty cheap, pretty available. Yeah, like a graffiti. Yeah. Cool. A wolf on top of the park. Right? Okay, we'll walk to the park and then the mall. And yeah. Out of here. Seems to be the place that you always come back to. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty central. Even without trying, you end up in this plaza. It's never touristy. It's never a season when it's flooded with tourists. It's true. It also means there isn't many Airbnbs to choose from in the Kaldash. Yeah. You have to be outside of Kaldash, mostly. Little ominous, was terrain five ish. Yeah. Okay. It does look a little gray. <laughs> yeah. More streets that need to be. Remember that kept. day when it was raining, the street here? Oh, he was it was all like a, yeah, a river. waterfall. Because <laughs> <Except, laughs> yeah. this is the lowest point of Kaldish, I think. Yeah. Well, maybe not, because it goes down this way, but it's a low point. But this is one of the central low points where all the water kind of funnels yeah. to. That was impressive. And so it was, this whole entire area was flooded. Yeah, we have to during the big, Yeah, during the big storm. Oh, well, careful. They do have some bands here. Oh, they have Hobby Theory. Lincoln Park tribute band. Could be kind of cool. There are some activities going on in Kaldish. Foz, no? Is that Foz? I don't know. It's called Foz Beat Soul. I assume that's what it was, but maybe not. So, the crowning jewel. Yeah. yeah, this park is pretty cool. Of Kaldish. The central the park. park of Kaldish. Probably one of the top reasons why lots of people move here, actually. Yeah, yeah. And even on my first visit here, that was the one thing that yeah. I was kind of excited about. Because you never far from it when you're in downtown. It's truly in the middle of town, so. You're always walking distance from it. 
and you step here and you don't feel like you're in the city anymore. Yeah. Very peaceful. Lots of festivals and little summer weekend markets there too. An actually decent playground. Yes. And my kids are here to get tired of. <laughs> It's also instantly cooler with the trees, so if it's a hot Which day. Which is uh, good and bad. A, well, yeah, but on a hot day, it's nice to have. sometimes you do want sun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's true. It has like a little workout and gym equipment on this side. Water fountains. I don't know if it's totally safe to drink, but. I, I, like, I don't think I would drink from it. <laughs> there they are, if you want to. Venture and risk it. And then there's a restaurant. Is that the one she was talking about? Or another no, one? No, there's so. one uh, over here. Oh, okay, she said that one was yeah. good. Okay. No, no, oh wait, this is the one where she said that it had... Uh, that the kids yeah, want to go back the to. the kids want to go back to. Okay, well, we're not going to get to try this time. No. And all the granite statues. That's what could be an amazing event venue that is just in disarray. So sad. Yeah. We'll walk back by it. When I was on the back side, I could see it. Yeah. And I was kind of taking video of it. I know. Mm. Yeah, summer camp here too sometimes. Like kids who hang out in the park all day doing different activities outdoors. I think a Bayou Blega, I think it's called. It's a outdoor school for younger kids, kind of like forest school. They come here a lot too. Mm -hmm. We have toilets here for people that need them <laughs> while they're enjoying the park. That's interesting. Uh -huh. a tree going out of a tree. boats and paddle around the pond inside of the park. Beautiful swans. White and black swans. A little muggy. Mm. 
<laughs> Magnolias. It's uh, currently open. The museum. In the park. Where is that? What's going on now? Tour this Wi Fi in the park. Ah, the view here from here, you uh, can probably see it better than from under it. And there was a fire over there. By the purple flowers. Oh, yeah. And it's a baby peacock. Mm -hmm. The worst life they have living in the middle of a cute park. It's always clean, well maintained, flowery. Yeah. And it goes back. Yeah, quite some ways. It's getting muggy. Well, we almost hit the car. Bye bye, Caldus. It was fun. But wait. <laughs> We're almost dry. <laughs> Ever be remodeled. They're actually working on it. I don't think so. I think they're preventing people from getting in. No, no. When yeah. I was on the back side, oh, okay. you can see some people up top here oh, as we get around the corner. And they were pushing some stuff down the chute, but. No, 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 just oh, see, look. Okay. Yeah, the scaffolding up. What are they doing? I don't know. 
Maybe they're clearing out the fire stuff or starting to work. I don't know, but you see the shoot? Yeah. And uh, there's somebody up there now with the scaffolding. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe clearing stuff because it will rot all the way. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, some are coming. Yeah. Not that he ever gets this dry, but yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. But yeah, definitely to me the main selling point is being in college. Especially if you have young kids and you need them to burn some energy safely away from the cars. Yeah. And it's one of the few places that they can actually play. <laughs> there are not many parks, or even like little small, small playgrounds. I mean, you truly don't feel like you're in a city. It's a very nice park. It's true. I would be very happy if Lagos had this. Yeah. They don't. Hurts. We have a cow dash. We have the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Probably why they don't bother with parks. Thank you. And we have the tennis courts within the park. This is the tennis club of Cala Serena. Point, you do have the shopping center on Cloud of Serena. It's smallish by American standards. Which one's your tail? Nice hotel. So the Via is smallish by American standards, but it has a Lachon, a grocery store, and you can buy sneakers and Sporting goods. It has a food court all the way upstairs. It has a movie theater. Yeah. With movies in English. Yes, which is also a selling point. Except children's movie, which is normal. They're not yeah. great. But otherwise, not bad. Oops. That's why it's, the sales have just started. That's right. why the parking lot was packed. Oh, uh, okay. See, sales everywhere. Uh, it's a twice a year event. Very popular all over Europe. All the summer clothes are being packed off, and it's not just clothes. This is like the Black Friday weeks.
sidebar. And that's it for the mall.